Hey guys, it's about that time of year again when people start making resolutions. But here in the Valencia household, we don't make resolutions at all. We set goals. In my world, resolutions are something that you change and goals are something that you're gonna do. Stick around and find out what our resolutions, nope, goals for 2017 are. Hey y'all, I'm Wendy Valencia and if you're new to my channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button and go ahead and click that little alert bell so you make sure to watch all of my videos for 2017 because 100% of my income from 2017 YouTube is going straight to death. That would be financial goal number one. So financial goal number two is that I get a pro promotion at work. Um, while not actually a financial goal, it is a career goal for me and um, it will absolutely help out financially. Goal number three, Mauricio is gonna finish college in 2017. Again, not a financial goal, but it is a goal that does impact our finances because if he's gonna just push it out and work really hard on finishing his school, then he's not going to be able to work um, what he has been working in 2016, which is, you know, he's been working 12 hour days, six days a week. If he's going to finish school, he's going to have to drop that down significantly and just work a, probably a 40 hour work week, maybe a 48 or 50 hour work week. But for the most part, it's going to be a 40 hour work week. Goal number four is that we are gonna start our sinking fund. And I've gone ahead and gotten a Capital One 360 account, which will get us started with that. I transferred $250 to get a $25 bonus. And I'm gonna go ahead and link down below where you can join Capital One 360 and start your sinking funds as well. I'll be doing a sinking funds video in early January, so you'll have to check that out and I'll explain to you what sinking funds we're setting up and how much we're going to be putting in each month and why. Goal number five is an actual financial goal and that is that we are going to pay 50% of our income towards debt. Now this is going to be up 5% from what we paid in 2016, which was 45% of our income towards debt, which I mentioned in the video that came out on Wednesday. And honestly, I think for right now, we're setting this goal actually a little bit low. And the reason we're doing that is because our financial situation is so tenuous right now with Mauricio not having a regular job. All of his jobs are what most people would call side hustles, you know, Uber, Amazon Flex, uh, UPS has started a uh, new program for temporary drivers where you use your own car. All of those are actually um, side hustle jobs for most people, but they're Mauricio's full income right now, and he's been killing it doing it, but um, I'm, I'm real wary about committing to anything more than 50% until we have a regular income with Mauricio, one that I can count on. It doesn't have to be salaried, but like an actual commitment from a company to say, yes, you're gonna be working 40 hours a week. But hey, if we hit higher than 50%, which is really my goal, I'd, I'd like to set it around 60, but for right now, let's keep it at 50. If we make 60%, great. I know for our January budget right now, it looks like 56%. We're still waiting on the last two paychecks of 2016 for Mauricio to come in. And once those come in, then we'll be able to set our finances. But as of right now, we're at like right around 56% is going towards debt. So a little higher than the goal we're setting, but I'd like to get it up to around 60 because I mean, we're living with my parents. We should be able to be paying more till debt to debt, but we do like to contribute to the household expenses here, obviously. Now, don't get me wrong, we're, we've gone about as scorched earth as we are gonna get. We don't go out on dates ever. We don't hang out with friends hardly at all in, especially not in restaurants or anything like that. We don't have a clothing budget. Mauricio colors my hair. I don't get manicures, pedicures, and I'm buying drugstore makeup. I think if you look at our budget, it's, 
it's about as small as it can get. We do have some expenses in there that I hate that um, I would be glad to be rid of. Like we pay $3.55 a month for storage fees, but we have a five bedroom house worth of furniture in storage. And until we have a place to live, we have to pay that. Um, Melly's school expenses, which I absolutely despise paying, but we have to pay is almost 1500 a month because in this area, that's about as cheap as you get. But the good news is come September, that $1,500 payment will be going away because Melina will be starting public school. Yay! We might have to keep a, a few hundred dollars in there for before and after care in public school, but maybe, maybe not. We haven't, we haven't, we'll, we'll find that out come September. A major financial goal for 2017 is too tentative to, to even really discuss. We really would like to move out of my parents' house in 2017. Um, but we just don't know right now. Everything is far too up in the air to commit to doing that. So for right now, we just don't know if it's a realistic goal or not. How about this? In June, I'm gonna put out another video updating you where we are with our goals and whether we're on track with what we're doing. And I'll see if I can make some more like concrete numbers with our goals. Hopefully by then Mauricio will have a regular income, but you know, I thought I was sure he would have a, a regular income by now. But since him finishing school is a far more important goal, we're gonna keep on keeping on the same way we've been going. Maybe come June, we'll have a better idea of where our lives are. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and uh, maybe the notification bell as well so you can follow us through this process step by step. Woohoo! I have an Osmo Mobile now. This was my Christmas present. And so it's doing the like facial tracking. So I have it set on my tripod, which is super cool. And I'd show it to you, but I can't because it's my phone and my mobile and the tripod. It was my Christmas present. So I can like move around in my chair and show you. And it tracks to my face. Super cool. So cool. I love high tech stuff. Alexa, do whatever we say. Like, put Uptown Funk on Prime as she does it. And sometimes she gets a little bit confused, but we have to tell her name first and we have to say, what do we want? Do we want book or song? I'll see you in the next one.